Hi, I'm Billy and welcome to Viral Flash Games. In this video, I'm going to be showing you just how quickly and easily you can edit our games, uh, rebranding them with your own links and your own logos, so that you can place them on your website, increase your traffic, get your own customers talking about you and coming back again and again to play the games. Not only that, I'm also going to show you how you can allow your own visitors and your own customers to place these branded games on their blogs and on their websites. And what that does is not only does it give great free content to your visitors, but it gets them promoting your brand and your website for you and increases the backlinks, uh, which will help with your search engine rankings. So let's jump straight in and show you just how quickly and easily we can do this. You will need a copy of the Flash program to edit these games. If you haven't got that, don't panic. You can get a free download 30-day uh, trial from the Adobe website and the link for that free download um, is in the PDF manual that accompanies these games. Okay, so I've opened up Flash and I've opened up one of the game files. This is a very, very simple game uh, based on the old uh, 1980s kids toy Simon. Um, I'm just going to show you around the file very, very quickly. Most of our games are structured the same way. This one has three scenes. We're in the preloader scene at the moment, you can see here. We have an intro screen, okay, and we have the game screen. And the thing to notice is on all three screens, we've got this Viral Flash Games logo. Okay. Now, if I test the game, you'll see that it's not just a static logo. It's actually a button. If I roll the mouse over, you'll see that it changes color and the mouse pointer changes. If a visitor clicks on this logo, it will take them to the Viral Flash game site. So the first thing that we want to do is rebrand this game with your logo and your link so that when the uh, player is playing the game, they see your logo here and when they click there, it takes them to your website. Now this really, really is very simple. It's just one very small piece of code to change and then we'll change the graphic of the logo. So let's deal with the code first of all. Uh, just because some people are scared of the code and it really isn't that difficult. I'm just going to open the Actions tab on the first frame. Actually, let me close that down again and show you how I did this. We're in the preloader uh, scene, which is the first scene in the file, and we're going to click on the top layer of the timeline, and then I'm going to click on the Actions tab down the bottom here. There we go, and this is the code, and all we're going to change is this one uh, piece of code here. We see it says Website equals and here it's got uh, www.flashgames.com all we're going to do is change that to the name of the site or the URL of the site that you want the user to be taken to when they click on your link that is as simple as it is that's all the code we need to change for now so let's close that back down again the next thing we need to do is change this actual um, logo the, the graphic itself so we're going to look in the library panel on the right hand side it's this one here if I open that up you'll see that there's two folders uh, the folders have got quite a lot in them, but we don't, we're not bothered about any of that. There's one file, uh, one asset which isn't in a folder. If I click on there, you'll see in the preview window that it is actually this file that we want to change. I'm going to double click on there. And you'll see actually this, this particular logo, it's just a couple of bitmap files. So all, we can, all we'll do is let's just delete this top one. And changing the logo could be as simple as, you know, drawing a new logo in, something like this. Uh, if I test the file again, okay, and we can now see our newly edited um, logo in the corner here. The functionality is still the same. If we roll the mouse over, the mouse pointer changes and the logo darkens. And if the user clicks on there, they'll be taken to your site. Now, that's all very well, but you probably already have um, a logo designed for your website. So let me show you how to import one of those instead of using text um, or graphics designed within Flash. Let's delete this text here. And I'm going to go to the file menu, import and import to stage. And we can import any standard graphics format such as a JPEG or a, or a GIF file. Uh, this actually happens to be a PNG. And you'll see uh, my fantastically designed uh, logo here. Let's just delete the one behind actually and position it something like that. And if we go to control and test movie, there we go. This has now got our new logo and new link on every page of the game. There we go, that's how easy it is to, uh, to edit the games. All we do now is we go to the file menu and click on publish and that actually creates our final published game file which you can now upload to your website and your visitors can start enjoying. Now if you're unsure how to do that, it's very, very simple. You just follow the instructions in the, P uh, in the PDF manual that accompanies the games. But what I want to show you now is taking this to the next stage 
which is how you can actually allow your own customers and visitors to place this game on their websites and on their blogs, which really harnesses the, uh, the power of viral flash, flash games uh, and gets your customers promoting your site for you. Now let me show you how this works. If we go into the game, you'll see at the bottom here there's a button that says get this game on your site for free. Um, and you'll actually see it in the game as well. Get this game on your site for free. If I click on here, here we go. It brings up this pop-up. It says simply copy and paste the code below into your own website or blog. You can have this game on your own site for your visitors to enjoy. And there's a section of code here. So all your customer has to do, or your visitor has to do, is highlight this code and click copy and paste that into their blog. Now let me show you how that's done. I'm just going to take you to one of my blog sites. Okay, so I've just created a new post and we'll call it uh, Simon. And I'm going to paste that code in here and I'm just going to click on the preview um, button for now. And there we go. You can see that the game has actually been added to the site. And underneath the game, there's a piece of text that says provided by Viral Flash Games. And if I mouse over that, you'll see the status bar in the bottom corner that if I click on there, it will take us to mysite.com. And that's because mysite.com is the site that we set up in the game file here. If I go back to the preloader screen and click on the actions, there we go, www.mysite.com. So to finish this up, there's just two more things that we want to change. Site name here, where I've got viral flash games, that will be the name of the link. That will be the text that the, uh, the user clicks on. So I'm just going to change that to my site. And then this last piece possibly needs a little bit of explanation. This is the URL of where you actually upload your game file. So the game file, which is what was created when we clicked on file, uh, file publish a moment ago, um, is simon.swf. And I've put this one in uh, on my website in a directory called swf. So what all you would do is change this to perhaps mysite.com forward slash, uh, I don't know, forward slash games uh, forward slash simon.swf. All we do now is we republish this, uh, file publish, I'm not going to do it right away. Uh, click on the control test button and you'll see that this code now, there we go, provided by mysite.com. And if we were to put that into the blog, um, rather than seeing provided by viral flash games and taking it to the flash games um, site, you would see provided by your own name here or your, your website name here and clicking there would take the user to your site. So there we go, that is how simple and easy it is to edit these games. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have lots of fun and lots of success with Viral Flash Games and you can find more from me at viralflashgames.com and flashgamesclassroom.com. Thank you.